Hello, YouTube family and friends. It's your friendly trans witch back for another video. Today we are going to be talking about moon phases and meanings. And I am currently standing because I have my signs hanging up on my wall here. And it's easier to read them from standing. Uh, most of the time, anyway. <laughs> so, you've got the new moon, which is new beginnings. There's always going to be... Well, on this chart, there's two. Because at the very end, you go back to the new beginnings again. Uh, and sorry, I have to have my cider right now. And Molly's sitting on the bed. Um, so with new beginnings, it's time for a clean slate. Start to gather your thoughts and plan. Plan out your month and everything like that. Uh, then you have the waxing crescent which is setting intentions. Uh, send your hopes and dreams into the world. Now you can do this anytime you want. This is just the best time to do it. That's all these charts are, is they're, you know, a guideline. Next, you have the first quarter moon, which is going to be taking action. When you face obstacles, do not waver. It's it's a time for pushing forward. So, especially during that first quarter moon, you want to push forward because that's going to be the time where it's going to be the hardest for you. You're going to face obstacles and you need to push through them. Uh, let's be honest, we all have our obstacles, witches or otherwise. Um, next is your waxing gibbous moon. Uh, refine and hone. So, in other words, you're going to observe and align your hopes with the universe. Momentum is building. Uh, then you have your full moon, which is when you're at your most powerful. Those of us who are witches know this. Um, always your best time to cast a spell and do spell work and everything is always going to be during the full moon. Um, so, you're going to harvest endeavors. Uh, a time to harvest the intentions and wishes of past moons. Waxing gibbous moon, or yeah, waxing gibbous moon. Introspect. Turn inwards. Think about your goals and be grateful. Now, I am very firm about being grateful. Um, let's be honest. I make sure Molly knows how grateful I am for her. I make sure everybody knows how grateful I am for them on a regular basis. Um, I'm going to sit now because I'm having a hard time with my back. Uh, I'm going to turn you this way. There we go. What? Oh, I'm, I see what I'm seeing. Okay. Um, but I always like to be grateful for the gifts I'm given, uh, whether it be spiritual, emotional, whatever. And don't mind that Molly's whining here. Come here, Molly. Molly, come here. You're okay. Come here. You're okay, baby. I know. <laughs> Molly wants to be on camera, so... No, you don't chew on that. So I'll let her be on the camera. And I do love you. Can you please go back to the bed, though? Thank you. Lay down. Lay. Oh, no. ah, don't give me that. I'm recording. Yes, I do love you. Mm -hmm. So grateful for her. Uh, so after the waxing gibbous, you have the third quarter moon. Which is that moment. Sorry, I have to stand again. I can't do the sitting. Uh, and I just realized how much the camera really does add. Uh, release and let go. Let go of the habits that bind you and do you harm. Uh, for me, that would be, <laughs> I really have to work on nail biting and such. I'm a very, <laughs> very bad nail biter. Um, and I'm working, I'm trying at times to work on it, it doesn't always work. Um, that's just like with me. I suppose. Now, 
reality is habits aren't the only thing you need to let go. Negative energy of any kind. Um, in fact, recently the apartment was painted and that was on Friday. And let me tell you, the energy in here is so much different. It was like night and day difference in how it feels in here now. So that is wonderful that way. So next, sorry, I don't have my reading glasses on me, uh, is the waning crescent moon, which is surrender. So with surrendering, and I'm gonna do this again, uh, recuperate and release, or and rest, sorry, not really. It is okay to feel empty sometimes. Now, if only I knew what it was like to feel empty. I never do. I'm always, there's always something on my mind. I'm always going, I'm always, I don't ever feel empty, but I do feel exhausted at times. Let's just say that. that I do try to take my days to rest, but that's neither here nor there. It doesn't always work. And then we're back to new beginnings. So new beginnings would be our setting of goals and, you know, intentions for the time. Let's be honest, we all could set, you know, could be better at setting goals. I personally could be better. I'm right now working on one of my biggest goals for this week and this month, and that's working on Molly not pulling me anymore. Don't know how well it's going, it's not going well. Uh, actually, it isn't going too bad. It could be better though. Um, Molly's a sweetheart, don't get me wrong. I love her, but she does like to get excited and she, when she, especially when she sees people and other dogs, and then she pulls. But at the same time, she's so full of love that I admire the fact that she wants to do that. She's looking at me like right now, like, why are you talking about me? But she's precious. She's my baby. She's just so wonderful. Here, just a minute. Kind of beautiful. Come here. Oh, Molly, come here. <laughs> there we go. See? Here, look. Look at the camera. There you are. Molly, see? There you are. See? There you are. Ah. She wants her toy. <laughs> she wants her fire. <laughs> Molly, Mama's working on a video. I know. You're so cute. <laughs> she also likes to cuddle a lot. She is quite the cuddle bug, but she also likes to play. <sighs> What do you expect? She's about almost 16 months old. She's always going to want to play. She's at that age. She'll mellow out one day. I'll be grateful. Because as I'm getting older, it's going to be harder. But at the same time, I'm loving it. I'm looking forward to having Mar baby Mary. Um, that'll be a great thing as well. Um... I actually need to have people help me with things as well. Um, you know, as far as witchcraft, because I'm not totally experienced myself, let's be honest. Uh, being a solitary witch, I was watching a witch earlier talking about, it's not always easy to be a solitary witch. You really do make a lot more mistakes. And I'll be honest, I do. And I'm trying not to make mistakes, but let's be honest, as a solitary witch, you're going to make mistakes. You're going to learn from them, but you're still going to make them. And I'm working on that really hard. <laughs> and that's just life. Um, I will be getting better at keeping notes and goals and everything in my date book here. In fact, I am going to put the link to this date book on Amazon because it's absolutely amazing. It comes with so much, it has so much useful information. It's got some really good recipes in it that I want to eventually try. Um, 
Molly, lay down, please. Molly, lay down, please. Lay down, please, baby bear. Thank you. Uh, there's even some stories in here and stuff. All right, here we go. So for January, there's a parsnip tea bread. Now, I don't know how many people like tea that are watching these. I love tea personally. But that's what I like, is I like getting new recipes, coming up with new ideas um, and everything. I like to keep things fresh and keep things going. That's one of my biggest goals in life, is to keep things changing. Because I don't like to be boring at all. Uh, I can't. That's one thing you can't say is that I'm boring. <clears throat> Sorry. And <laughs> that cloth is only dirty because I used to use it to strain coffee. Um, but anyway, back to things. Uh, let's see. Next week's video will be on the candle colors and then we'll go over to the gems and then the chakras. The chakras will be last because it's the biggest and most in-depth that there is. Um, as far as the transition, because this video isn't just about witchcraft, it's also about the about transitioning. Um, let's be honest, transitioning Hormones, let's just put it this way, with anybody, because we all have hormones. Um, <laughs> we all have our ups and downs. Uh, a couple days ago, I was a little bit in the downs, in the dumps. It was just, you know, you get that way. I, uh, there's my days where I don't want to wake up. Molly, fortunately, makes me wake up. She's really good at that. Um... The fact that I have somebody else to take care of, aside from just Molly, helps me to wake up in the mornings. There's days I don't want to cook, and that's, believe it or not, it happens. Um, as much as I love to cook, as much as it's relaxing for me, it does take wear and tear on the body. Anyway, I want to say thank you to everybody who's watching. And please do like and subscribe uh, subscribe to the channel, it helps. Uh, liking the video helps. Uh, sharing the channel, sharing the videos, that helps. Because there's always people out there that can use these videos in one way or another for some sort of information, I'm sure. I'm not expecting everybody to like my videos, to like my content. The fact that my videos do not have editing and special features and stuff. I don't have a special intro like other people. I don't do any fancy stuff. I don't like it. I mean, I do. It makes it look pretty. But I'd rather just have everything be pretty plain. That's kind of the person I am. I'm not... And I guess I'm not plain, but... You know, I'm ordinary. I don't, I don't come from money. I don't, <laughs> you know, I don't have money as it is myself. I don't have a lot. Um, and that's what makes this nice, is I am very plain and ordinary. And I show it in my videos. In fact, I just cut my hair today, too, and I'm realizing it actually doesn't look too bad on video. I'm really happy. I had to trim it. It was getting a little... To the point it needed a trim keep it growing out i've got to get better at doing that as well in fact i need to mark six weeks in the date book so i can do that trim <laughs> anyway i hope you all have a great time i want to say peace be with you and blessed be i love you all for watching these videos thank you so much and have a great one